My name's Phil Baird and I work with uh, Western Local Land Services based out in uh, Wentworth. Um, my title is Pest Animal Projects Officer uh, and one of the projects we're working on is uh, feral deer in the western region. What is alarming in particular is one of the species that we're looking at and it's most prevalent in the western region is the fallow deer uh, and it across the state between 2016 and 2020 increased its distribution by 60% over some really dry conditions, which is what should be worrying for Western producers. That really says to us that these animals can survive and reproduce in dry and harsh conditions. So my name's Mark Lamb, I work for Pest Lures. A field of work that I work in is vertebrate pest management. So we do a lot of monitoring for pest animals and we also do control work. So we've got 50 cameras out in this area. Um, they're a motion sensor camera, they pick up heat and movement. 29 of those cameras have picked up deer. With those 29 detections of deer on camera traps, that shows us that the distribution across the area is fairly equal, that they cover a large space and it also tells us that they, they do move around a little bit, but their movement's probably around that 1,000 to 1,500 acres. So it now looks like it is an isolated pocket and that we can do something. You know, the people at Louth can do something. The area has something to do, to plan for. Probably the biggest impact, particularly in the western region, is, is grazing impact and competition for grazing. Uh, they range from a dry sheep equivalent of 0.4 up to somewhere in the order of three, depending on their life stage and, and what species we're talking about. Um, and their ability to graze really high, uh, up, you know, above where a goat can reach, but also closer down to the ground than most sheep. So they're impact in terms of competing for grazing resources is very high. One of the key things about our populations is that quite often they're small uh, populations and in some cases isolated, which is the case at Louth. These small isolated populations are really good opportunities to do something meaningful. From what I've seen here and what we've gone through on the, on the data sets of all our images, plus the sign I've seen on the ground and the reports from all the locals, deer numbers are growing. They may be a problem in some areas at the moment and on the outskirts they may not be, but in the future they will be. The time to act is now. Any data, uh, sightings, records, information about when and where deer are, uh, report that information back to LLS or Feral Deer Scan. Uh, and then get involved in the projects that are, are putting forward, whether that's more monitoring programs, control programs uh, or, or other projects. Mm -hmm.